What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that all of you guys are having an amazing day. So Charlemagne has issued an apology to Risa Tisa after receiving well-deserved backlash, in my opinion, over the comments that he made towards her. And, you know, the apology that he made towards uh, Monique, right, after the disparaging comments that he made about her, I also made a video about that because I am really trying my best to, you know, grow as a person, to give people the chance to make amends. None of us are perfect. And so, you know, I'm really hoping that in my own journey toward, you know, betterment, growth, maturity, um, enlightenment, whatever you want to call it, right, that that journey towards just self-improvement, self-actualization, right? The top of Maslow's hierarchy of needs for all my psychology folks out there. I really am wanting to extend that same grace towards Charlemagne and those like him. And I'll tell you why. Because I've come to realize that a lot of people are walking around with you know, just wounded souls, right? Um, whether it's unresolved trauma from your childhood, whatever the case may be. And the older I get and the more research I do, I'm understanding that people, some people, not all, of course, but some are so traumatized, um, you know, they're blinded to the depths of their own trauma and you know whether that's avoidance and all of those self-protective behaviors i'll let the psychologists take those but men like charlemagne kevin samuels the red pill gang etc that root of misogyny of anti-blackness of hatred it, it comes from a very dark place within them, right? So I would love if he would sit down in someone's therapist chair and unpack that. But until then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my part and, you know, um, offer, like I said, a, the olive branch of grace because uh, when he does say disparaging things about black women, I will let you guys know. I will, you know, report that and convey that information. I feel like it's important because of his platform and because it's so huge. And not only that, because Risa Tisa went on the Tamron Hall show and shared, you know, how hurtful it was toward her. Tamron Hall also, right, has an international platform. So because of that, I want to circle back and shout out to corporate Aaron. <laughs> I want to circle back, follow up and close that loop. <laughs> um, because I always like to give, you know, both sides of the story. So with that being said, I want you guys to hear his apology in his own words. And then I'll give a little bit of commentary at the end. A time, the easiest way to keep your own peace is to not disturb the peace of others. Uh, I disturbed that woman's peace and that wasn't my intention. So I apologize if my words made her feel that way. But I do have two things to say. Mm. Number one, I never said she don't deserve love because of her <laughs> Right. I didn't even know she was big. She yeah. has told the story mm -hmm. and I said it sounds like big back behavior. And mm -hmm. then I started talking about big back belief. Now, if y'all want to have... A conversation about reinforcing negative stereotypes of big backs. I mm -hmm. understand. Mm -hmm. I'm open to it. But acting like uh, I was having a conversation about Risa Tisa's looks and size, that's not accurate. I was yeah. speaking in general terms about big back behavior yeah. and big back belief. And I actually said, mm -hmm. nobody has to be that desperate because there is a man out there for you. Mm -hmm. And I do have one final point. Just one. Mm -hmm. uh, we all it's have social good. media. No, we all mm -hmm. have social media. Absolutely. And we all use it for different reasons. Yeah. And Risa's getting a lot of uh, props for being so vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Salute to her. But I personally feel like we have to stop bringing this stuff to social media yeah. if you don't people to have an opinion about it. Absolutely. Because some of this stuff should just be reserved for our therapists. If we can't handle people having yeah. an opinion about whatever we are venting about, keep right. it off that's, social media. That's, that's my personal That's opinion. a good Absolutely. point. When you put it out there in the, in the world, the world's mm -hmm. going to come back many different ways. Absolutely. Yeah, and she said that she was uh, 
um, already insecure about our weight. So then that why would you come to such a big, big, big platform thinking that, you, you know, you're going to be off limits from comments like because it's people who was actually going in. Absolutely. On her. Absolutely. You you didn't call her a big back. No, I was just speaking towards big back behavior and yeah, big back belief big based back off behavior. the story you told. Absolutely. And that's why even when you reference Sheila, you reference Sheila from Why Did I Get Married? Yes. Fantastic movie. Because Absolutely. even that movie reinforced those same stereotypes. Absolutely. Yes. And but and we also seen where Sheila ate small. She unbigged her back. She, she did unbigged her back. Her back. She definitely did. And and then he that that man came around. Oh, you know was, what I'm oh, saying? He was going crazy. He wanted her and then, the skinny girl, she was, she was spending up the money and all that. So it, it just all of that to say, like you said, just get therapy for it, especially, especially if it is an insec insecurity of yours. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't think those are things that should be on social media because everybody's yeah. not going to agree with you. Nope. There's going to be people that no have way. negative things to say. So yeah. I just feel like some of this stuff should be reserved for our mm -hmm. therapists if we can't handle people having an opinion yeah. about whatever we are venting yeah. about. Because you're not then, always going to hear what you want to hear. Yeah, and then to say, especially the more famous personality. It sure hurts you when anybody say. I get it, but I respect, I, 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 I understand that though. And okay. once again, if I disturbed her piece, I apologize for disturbing her piece, but th that was uh, not my intention. Well, that was very big of you to apologize. And I love you for that, bro. I love you too. Okay. Um, a few things, right? I I applaud his, his attempt to uh, convey a sincere apology. Again, I don't know where he is on his healing journey. He may be at the very beginning because the irony for him to say that, you know, someone should, you know, should uh, seek therapy and he is a mental health advocate. So um, for her, for him to continuously say, you know, that this person, whether he was talking about Risa Tisa or people in general, should seek therapy. Um, she. This is actually the whole reason why she made the series. She said that you know she didn't want to hold it in any longer. It was actually therapeutic for her to tell her story, which a lot of therapists agree with, right? Silence is a stressor, um, and so just talk therapy is very therapeutic. It's very helpful. But the apology did not come across as sincere because. Again, Charlemagne, the gaslighting and playing in people's face, saying, oh, well, I didn't call her a big back. I said it was big back behavior. <sighs> you inferred Risa Tisa. Risa Tisa was the topic when Jess Hilarious said, you know, she's given Sheila. That's exactly what you guys were talking about. OK, you were talking about an overweight black woman. Please stop playing in our face. Please stop the gaslighting. Just because you didn't say specifically Risa Tisa has a big back does not mean that she was not the topic of conversation or that she was the subject of your insult. See, that's what I mean. Like, I am really trying, but I will tell you another thing that I've learned. There's only so much grace you can give to someone um who has not met the same milestones or has the same standard as you right um you guys know that phrase you know meet people where they are i'm learning how to leave people <laughs> i'm learning how to leave people where they are and i don't mean i don't mean like in a mean way like that's why i posted his apology what i mean is not to expect higher from those who can't give it, right? I don't think that Charlemagne has been real and authentic with himself yet. He has a lot of unresolved issues to unpack. And you can tell by the way that he talks, not only to people, but also about people. And just enabling that behavior, she has her own issues to work out. We all do, and that's fair. But Charlemagne is someone that if I met him in person or if he wasn't you know, famous or whatever the case may be, someone like him, I would be cordial and I would essentially emotionally, right? Leave that person where they are. Like I wouldn't let them in my inner circle. They would be an associate at best. 
those type of people are very dangerous. I feel like he has a lot of blind spots. I feel like he projects a lot. There's a lot of, again, just underlying issues. You can just tell. But I applaud the effort. I do. Um, he said, I, you know, I apologize twice because he recognizes that he did disturb her peace. He hurt her feelings. Um, so I'll give that to him. But a lot of other language that he used, right? Like the ifs and the thens and the defensive, you know, mechanisms that just undermined the apology. So I, and I don't even think he caught that or just caught that or anybody will call him on that. So that's my two cents. That's my, you know, thoughts about his apology, but I wanted to, uh, again, follow up and let you guys know that he did apologize. I think it's because of the backlash that he received, not because of how deeply it hurt an, another Black woman, because this is a pattern for him, right? So the more he disparages Black women, I'm going to bring that to this platform because I think it's important to share because um, I want people to know the type of person that he is. I don't watch The, the Breakfast Club specifically for this reason, but when he makes a half-hearted an apology. Um, I'll share that as well. So you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I will talk with you later. Take care, aces. Bye.